Hey guys, it's Mercro Plays here. Um, today I'm here with my good friend Dusk41. Say hi. Hey. And uh, we are back with another TF2 weapon analysis. And today we're going to be analyzing a weapon I've been really wanting to analyze for the past little while. It's called the Quick Fix. It's a it's a meta gun, and basically it has. A, if we look at its stats, they should be up on the screen. We have a plus 40% heal rate, which is very handy. A plus 25% 20 uber charge rate, which is very handy. And unfortunately, a very, very sad downfall of 50% um, max overheal less than you would normally be getting, which is really... <sighs> um, it is really a downgrade. However, also, um, you move at the speed of any faster heal target, basically a scout, or in some cases, I think also um, a soldier with the escape plan, or possibly a big earner spy or something like that um but really very a situational thing but the mirror blast thing is awesome um because if you have a soldier that's rocket jumping around um you rocket jump with him and uh i'm going to ask us 41 uh he is a medic main if i am correct and um yeah yeah you are so what do you like about the quick fix and why do you enjoy using it i like the quick fix mostly because it's sort of it heals you really fast, and with a medic, you gotta be going everywhere, especially if you're in the heat of the battle. You know, you gotta be switching between everyone, and you wanna get through them qu as quick as possible. And, you know, for someone who actually spends time being a medic and realizes that that's the way to play, not just heavy loving, <laughs> its biggest downfall of the quick fix would be not having the uber charge, which is completely fine while well, not having the same uber charge as the metagun, which completely repels damage, and this one sort of, yeah, not quite absorbs the same. it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it, if you're going up against a heavy and you have the quick fix, you might as well just not uber charge, you know? Right. So, I would say that the best thing about the quick fix would be. I'd say the worst thing about it is the uber charge, but the best thing about it is that you don't need that when it's used situationally. Yeah. I'd say that's a good call. And uh, I also think that Dusk41 brought up a very valid point that um, when you're using the quick fix, you're going to want to be switching between people and not just pocketing one person. So if you are, if you do tend to be a pocket medic, and there's nothing, uh, I, I don't personally like doing that, but there's nothing inherently wrong with it. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you're pocketing if you, like a soldier. Or yeah, if you've got it. another medic on the team too, like if one of you is using the medic gun, if there's already a guy that's being a pocket medic using the medic gun, I'd say go for the quick fix, you know? Yeah, that's a that's a good idea, because oftentimes the pocket medic will be too wrapped up in healing their, their pocket to realize that, oh, hey, there's a scout on fire, oh, hey, that engineer has 30 health, or, you know, just sort of general things that medics should worry about, maybe ones of lower skill levels don't worry about. So the quick fix can be great when supporting another medic that's on your team. And, uh, as I said, it's not very good, unfortunately, for, um, pocketing because the heal rate essentially, uh, it basically just heals you faster, um, rather than, like, <laughs> uh, completely repel damage, but, you know, the uber charge rate is great, and the heal rate is great, it's a very different play style for the medic, so overall, I'm going to give the quick fix, um, I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 because I just really like the weapon. It's fun to use. Um, any parting words, Dust41? I'd say that I'd give this 6 chairs out of a full classroom. Uh, so 6 out of 30? No, I was talking about, uh, you know, small classroom, like philosophy classroom. Oh, so like, like 15 or 10. Yeah, 10. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, so we are in agreement then. Okay, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this analysis. Uh, the next episode, we might be analyzing the atomizer I was thinking about doing, or um, possibly a pyro weapon. There's a lot of a lot of bad pyro weapons that we might be reviewing. <laughs> dude, what do you mean? The phlogistonator is great? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I will be seeing you guys around next time. Peace out.